Okay, more than a few people have asked me how to fix a uh, oily uh, aperture assembly. This is one from a 50 millimeter pancake. Um, you can see it taken apart. Now, I don't recommend anybody taking a lens apart to this level. Um, but the way you actually clean it, if you find uh, oil on your aperture blades, and what it is is helicoid grease that's migrated from the lens helicoid, which uh, goes in the focusing uh, ring, which actually uh, gives you smooth focusing. It migrates when someone idiotically, stupid, uh, stupidly stores the lens in a hot place or a hot car. It'll migrate here, and then it'll cause retardation and exposure issues of the aperture opening and closing at uh, correct uh, speeds. What you do is you get some pure acetone, you put it in a little dish, it only has to be about yay deep, and you actually stick the aperture assembly down in there. You flick this back and forth about 20 times. You actually raise it and lower it while you're flicking it like this. And what that does is it'll actually take all the grease away. You don't have to re-lubricate it or anything like that, and certainly don't dry it off. I mean, it's acetone. And then after you do that, your aperture blades will be nice and snappy again. That is, of course, if you know how to take apart these old lenses. Or if the lens is so far gone that you're willing to risk it. But be warned, I don't recommend anybody taking the lenses apart. Because even the older AI and AS lenses are deceptively, very deceptively simple. They're like, oh, it's only got about uh, 30 parts in there and 12 screws. You know, it can't be that hard. Well, it's like a jigsaw puzzle getting it back together. And uh, it's not easy. So, anyway, but that's how you actually clean the oils off your aperture blade assembly on your lens, okay? Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.